All right, we're here on Jesuit.org. I'm going to show you another connection that these very wicked people have uh, with a something that a lot of people would think is a good charity. We're going to start out here by going to Jesuits Worldwide. Click on this link. Then down here, the second paragraph, Jeff, Jesuit Refugee Service. We'll click there. It takes you to this website here. And we're going to go the whole way to the bottom of this page to Links. Okay, when we click on that, we're going to look at a couple things here. First, you have Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations. Hmm, the Jesuits being involved with the United Nations? Oh, sure, absolutely. How about the International Bureau of Education? Hmm, Jesuits being involved in education? Yeah. That's why a lot of times when you go to a public school, you'll be taught all about the evil Nazis, but you'll never be taught about the fact that they were financed and controlled basically by Catholicism. And most of the high level Nazis were Catholics. You know, the Jesuits have a hand in your education. But look at this one International Committee of the Red Cross. Hmm, how about that one? Let's click on that link. Okay, you say, well, this is probably just over in, in Italy or something like that. Well, uh, let's go to where we work the Americas. All right, down here other, under other operations, let's click on this link, the ICRC, International Committee of the Red Cross in North America. Okay, read full overview. That's just a little bit there. But it says here, the Washington Regional Delegation covers the United States and Canada, promoting IHL, facilitating ICRC operations worldwide through its contacts and visiting people in Guantanamo. They're a good place for the... Uh, Office of Inquisition to be where you can torture people. Just foreigners right now, you know. Of course, they don't have any plans to torture Christians in America or anything like that. You know, don't don't believe in conspiracies like that now. But it says, uh, it raises awareness of the ICRC's mandate, mobilizes support, facilitates IHL implementation, and works closely with the American and Canadian Red Cross societies. So you say, well, I want to do something good for my community, good for my local area, by going down to the local... Um, blood drive or whatever the, the thing where you give blood you know with the Red Cross uh, you're not doing good you're actually supporting a Jesuit organization you know and I'm not going to read all this here you can read that if you want to but look at this over here related pages arms trade treaty a humanitarian imperative hmm. arms trade treaty talking about a video there arms trade treaty arms and ammunition are not just another form of commercial goods so in other words, I mean, look at the look at the subtle thing here with this. You know, it's not just something that you have a right to have. You know, it's it's something that maybe we ought to look at controlling. You know, isn't that something? And that's you know, the Jesuits linked to this organization. And you say, well, Brian, I don't think that they have anything to do with you know the Catholics and a Red Cross. I don't think that the Catholics ever had anything to do with a Red Cross. Well, how about you go to Google Images and type in the word Crusaders, you know, the uh, Roman Catholic Crusaders of the past, going out and fighting the wars, the physical wars for the Pope. They wore white and a red cross was their symbol. Interesting how you would have the ICRC connected to the Jesuits. Hmm.